Alright, hey folks, how's it going today? Uh, Dreaming Crow here with a video. I'm doing a book review today. Um, just as a reminder, uh, I do appreciate you watching my videos and giving me feedback, uh, positive or negative. But of course, uh, if you do like what you're seeing, please um, hit the subscribe button below there. And uh, in order to get on uh, news feed updates, uh, whenever I have new videos coming out. Um, so with that, uh, let's jump right into it. Uh, today I'm doing a book review on um, one of... Well, I shouldn't say it's one of the first left-hand path books I've read. Um, but I think it's a very good primer for a lot of beginners. And um, it is the uh, Draconian Ritual book by Asenoth Mason. Um, this book for me, um, for the last, uh, say, several months, has been uh, quite influential for me. Um, in the past, I have read other uh, LHP books, um, such as by Stephanie Connolly, uh, her book on uh, Draconian Magic, and um, the complete book of Demon Owl Tree. Um, but this one, as far as practices go, is a good primer, uh, I believe, um, for anybody wanting to get involved with left-hand path practices. Um, what I enjoyed about this is that she breaks it down uh, in such a way that um, well, she teaches you about the uh, gods and deities, um, not just all, not all of them, but at least some recommended ones that you can start off with. Um, what I liked, though, was the uh, meditations uh, that she provided in the book. Um, Draconian magic has a, a lot to do, or partly to do, with... Uh, cultivating kundalini energy and for those of us who don't know what kundalini energy is it's basically uh, sexual energy um, that's rooted in our sex chakras and our basic chakras and um, in Hindu tradition uh, this is viewed as a coiled uh, snake at the base of our spine and uh, as we enlighten ourselves that snake travels up our spine, you know, in a coiling motion to uh, the crown, and then that's, that energy is obviously released. Um, now, I learned a little bit more about Kundalini energy a number of years ago when I was uh, practicing a um, alternative medicine, uh, pranic healing. Um, you know, then we learned that, you know, as you draw Kundalini energy up, um, to the crown chakra and it becomes more spiritual energy you can you know uh, transform just base sexual energy to you know like higher intelligence and more creativity and so that's one of the reasons why I like this book um, she starts off she starts uh, the initiate off with um, Here's a basic meditation. We're gonna, you know, balance your chakras. We're gonna open them. Um, teach you how to cultivate, how to store this energy, and then that meditation is basically built on the foundations of other practices in the book, such as uh, trance states, um, astral travel, uh, things of that nature. So, um, to me, it's Again, a very, very good book to have. It, there's a lot of rituals in it. There is a seven-day um, initiation. Uh, if that is, uh, if you want to initiate yourself to uh, dr the Draconian Current. Um, one thing that she does state um, in the book is that uh, draconian magic does require um, a bit of blood sacrifice uh, that's not to say that 
we're out there sacrificing babies and people know we're not doing that. This is our personal blood, uh, which a lot of us in the left-hand path know that we use a lot of uh, Lancet devices, um, you know, for drawing our own personal blood. Some may use uh, a knife or a razor. But I generally end up, uh, you know, pricking a finger or the side of my hand um, to get that blood. And uh, that's either anointed on a sigil or seal or, you know, for whatever reason that blood is used. We're not doing animal sacrifices like a lot of other mainstream religions may think. Um, you know, are, are there people that do uh, animal sacrifices in the left hand path? I'm sure that there are. I know a few that there are. Um, however, in Draconian Magic, um, my understanding from the book is that those particular gods and deities uh, that you find in the book that you that you may or may not work with, you may work with other ones, um, don't take to animal sacrifice. Um, they prefer to see you sacrifice something personal of yourself as opposed to, you know, something else, uh, like another, uh, another living being or, uh, animal, okay? So, um, I think one of the other things that I like a lot about the book is that she really just gives the initiate, uh, initiate, a, a great, place to start as found as far as um, other basic skills um, such as grounding and raising energy, storing energy, um, basics for uh, opening um, psychic centers as far as like clairvoyance and cleared audience uh, for those of us who, who do a lot of evocations or um, a lot of scrying work. You know, she gives you a, a basic background on you know how to accomplish those things um, and again it all starts with um, using kundalini energy and, and storing that energy and using it um, for your practices so uh, with that um, you know I do recommend that you again check it out um, I did get this one from amazon.com uh, you can of course check out any other supplier uh, to see you know how much there's there's cost I believe this was um I want to say it, maybe it was like $28 or $20 uh, you know plus shipping and I got it within a couple of days uh, usually when it comes to Amazon I like to have my stuff come in a hurry so you know I usually choose four or five day shipping uh, so it, you know wasn't a very long wait for me so um, by all means do check it out uh, that is uh, my recommendation for today. Um, again, uh, if you like the content or you have suggestions that you would like to see me do uh, other videos on, um, please leave that in the uh, comment section below and hit the subscribe button uh, if you like what you see and you want to want to find out more uh, on my news feeds. I do appreciate it. Have a great day. Take care.